High Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we are going to take a look at the one who's ghosted you, so the one who's, uh, you know, who, who pulled the ultimate uh, disappearing act and disappeared on you and um, just vanished into thin air like a Vegas musician here. Uh, magician sorry um, as always guys these messages they're going to be general so please just keep that in mind if you are after personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire i will list my email address just below the video here okay guys so i'm going to give the cards a shuffle and see whether you know we'll go ahead and take a look at what's happening with the ghost here energy wise and we'll see whether he or she will come back and whether the two of you might be able to pick up where you left off or whether there'll be a possible reconciliation or an apology um, let's see what's going on with them and potentially you the two of you in the future nine of wands Eight of Wands, the King of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Strong Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I can also see that this person has, they ghosted you. When they ghosted you, they did vanish. They disappeared, they dissipated like smoke into thin air. They completely vanished here, poof, like a puff of smoke. Um, strong Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I'm going to come out and say it. You've dodged a bullet. This is someone who's pulled away very quickly, very abruptly here. Um, I'm also going to, um, and I feel like this is important to know, a healthy relationship, a healthy relationship or a healthy, uh, a healthy connection here requires a healthy amount of communication. The fact that you guys suffered through this um, ghosting episode with this individual um, tells me that you've actually dodged a bullet here with this individual and you've actually avoided entering into a relationship with someone who doesn't know how to communicate doesn't know how to properly communicate here and frankly someone who doesn't necessarily you know uh care about your emotions here um you've got you've got the eight of ones and the nine of ones two consecutive numbers some of you will get ghosted why am I seeing the 8th or the ninth here? Well, the two of you have, or oh, some of you have been ghosted. Some of you watching this have been ghosted on a multiple, or like on multiple occasions here. So it's not the first time this has happened to you. Um, the Nine of Wands is a very overwhelmed kind of energy. I feel like for some of you, maybe you haven't necessarily. Some of you, I feel like you have been ghosted before. You've been here before. Those you know, those feelings of hurt, betrayal, or rejection aren't new to you. They are familiar to you. Whilst others of you, I feel like you haven't necessarily been here before. Because some of you, I feel like you have been in long-term relationships and therefore you've come out of a long-term relationship only to encounter this ghosting episode. So some of you, I feel like either way, whichever end of the spectrum you're on, you're both, I can feel like your energies feel as though you're overwhelmed. Um, you feel hurt. You feel betrayed here. I'm also seeing that this person, there's something to do with their energy. That of them feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I feel like this person that you're dealing with was a little bit consumed by their emotions. I'm not sure if they've had a lot of other things going on, like a lot of external factors um, that might have influenced their decision to pull away, to just disappear. I feel like this person's energy came in rather quickly, or I feel like things between the two of you happened really quickly. Like there was an intense attraction from the very beginning and everything just unfolded very smoothly, very fluidly, very organically. And you know, there was a lot of promise at the start. There was a lot of promising potential here. And this person did come across as the King of Cups, as someone who, you know, is, they might, he or she might have been older than yourself and therefore they might have had a lot of experience with relationships um, or someone who's very like well put together. And therefore when they did go through, it was very baffling because you never thought that this person was capable of such an act because it's such an act of emotional immaturity as well. Um, I'm seeing that there was, again, I don't know if it's to do with career or I don't know, whatever these outside uh, factors were, I feel like this person has had a lot going on in their life um, and I don't feel like this person was ready for a relationship. I'm also seeing that this person, they might have been single, but I feel like this person had options to choose from. So to them, 
I'm seeing that you came up as an, uh, an option, not a priority here. So I feel like this person was communicating with someone else. I'm seeing online communication. I'm also seeing that this person lied to you about communicating. Some of you have um, tried to confront this individual, whether or not they're being truthful to you or whether or not they're being faithful or honest to you. This person said yes, when in fact what they really meant to say was no. Okay, so they lied here. They've told you a version of the truth. Okay, not the actual truth, not the entirety of the truth, but maybe just a fraction of the truth, maybe a fabricated version of the truth, their version of a truth. The truth doesn't have versions, guys. The truth doesn't have versions. And this person, this person fabricated something to make themselves um, appear a certain way here. I also want to uh, let you know, and this is important, that the reason why this person has ghosted you or the reason why they've pulled away as well is because... The page of wands here, I do feel like even if this person might have been older than you, they're coming up as quite emotionally juvenile or quite um, very self-centered. This is someone who, I don't feel like they're ready for commitment. I don't feel like this person is ready to settle down. I feel like this person wants to have their cake and eat it too. I feel like they're after passion, excitement, adventure. And as soon as that, you know, stifles or that settles down, this person is onto the next, onto the next best thing, okay? Um, so maybe they were using this to boost their ego. Maybe they were, you know... Um, Things were really fun and exciting, you know, the novelty of a, you know, of a relationship, of forming a relationship in the beginning is there and then things start dwindling. The fire started, um, you know, dwindling out and maybe this is what's caused them to pull away. But they pulled away because I feel like this person didn't have that emotional maturity to confront you. And um, it was their way of trying to avoid um, putting themselves in an uncomfortable situation and, you know, explaining to you that... They're not ready for a relationship or they're not ready to settle down or they don't necessarily see themselves in a relationship because again i'm getting that you know there was a deception here there was a lot of deception i'm seeing that they also emotionally manipulated some of you okay emotional manipulation king of cups and the seven of swords here so they knew what they were doing all along i feel like this person knew what they were doing all along the four of pentacles tells me they're very stubborn kind of energy and i feel like this person notice the placement of that pentacle it's almost like a shield i don't feel like this person was ready to become emotion vulnerable or they weren't ready to open up here um i'm also seeing that they have holding patterns here so this isn't the first time they've ghosted someone um, and this isn't going to be the last time either. Um, they may have a, like a repeat pattern or history of this. They have a tendency to ghost people and it's their way of sort of pulling out. Like they don't have to appear as the bad guy, right? They just abruptly ghost you, abruptly, you know, stop all communications. And, and here's the other thing. The reason why um, the psychology behind ghosting is there's never really closure. So the person who gets ghosted, you know, if you're on the receiving end of getting ghosted here, you never get any closure things never really end right so there's a lot of questions that remain unanswered and although this person you know abruptly stops all communication or pulls away from you there's not this uh there's not this you know uh this certain ending there's not this um how do i say this there's not this uh finite ending is there like this it leaves it leaves room for them because they they um don't actually like they cut they call things off but they don't really cut off the connection with you right they stop talking to you or they stop responding but it's not like they actually break up with you or it's not like they actually tell you you know um hey i'm gonna call it quits so it kind of on some level it kind of leaves uh room for them to come back into the future here for them to, uh for them to sort of re-enter your life or for them to come back to you, you know, whenever it's convenient and whenever it's uh, when it, on their terms here. Yeah. But um, I guess what I'm trying to get at is with ghosting, it's like there's not this certain ending here that's being applied to the connection. So it leaves them room or it leaves them possibility. For, it leaves them like a, a bit of, it leaves the door ajar for them to come back is what I'm trying to say, right? This person hasn't developed the skills of emotional maturity. So yeah, as I said, they might have been older than you, but this person's really pulled away because they have little to no regard for your feelings. I'm also seeing that there were red flags that popped up in the connection earlier on. Like some of you, I feel like maybe you maybe you understood that you were being lied to or maybe something didn't quite add up here. Maybe you felt like, you know, that, that feeling like something being off. But some of you, I don't feel like you've paid enough attention to those red flags. And again, because I feel like this person had, there might have been like a bit of a natural wordsmith. This person knows or knew what they were doing all along. They came across as the king of cups, when in reality there was a lot of, there was lies, betrayal, deception. There might have been some disloyalty here. There might have been some, um, 
So they were being uh, unfaithful here. But I'm seeing that they were lying to you. And I'm seeing that this person had options around them. And to you, you were just, and to them, you were just another option. You were not a priority. Okay, because they did not prioritize your emotions. They did not prioritize your wants and needs. Um, they're quite self-centered. And I feel like, you know, it's their world. Unfortunately, you just happen to be living in it. Um, they'll come back. They will come back. But I do warn you, when and if they do come back, they're likely, okay, they're a repeat offender. They're likely to ghost you again. So take this as a warning. Will you give them that opportunity to hurt you again, to disrespect you like that again? Um, you need to hold them accountable though. If they do come back and if some of you want, you know, if you actually want a connection or if you want something from out of this, it's important for you to hold them accountable for their actions here. Okay, because yeah, I'm seeing a lot of, for some of you, I'm seeing this confusion. Some of you, right, not, not that I'm seeing it, I feel like I'm feeling it more. A lot of you felt this confusion of whether the relationship has actually ended or not. And, you know, and that's, that's the psychology of ghosting because there's no certain ending to the connection. So yes, this person will be back. Once the excitement dwindles down elsewhere, once the person that they're connected with right now, you know, um, that is no longer fun, exciting, and exhilarating. This person will re-enter your life. But for a lot of you watching this, be careful that this person doesn't start delivering you know, their versions of a certain truth again. And be careful because I'm seeing that this person has holding patterns. I'm seeing cyclical behavior with regards to their energy. And I'm seeing that this person is very likely to repeat their actions. Okay. Um, also, for those of you that are wanting a long-term relationship from out of this connection, I don't feel like you'll be able to gain that from from this person's energy. At least not anytime soon, because I feel like this person has a lot of growing up and uh, a lot of maturing and um, evolving to do. I'm not seeing any feelings of remorse. Looking at the cards here, actually, I'm not actually seeing any feelings of remorse. I don't feel like this person has any guilt over how, you know, how they treated you, over the fact that they've just pulled away and ended things with you. It's not that they feel really bad that they've hurt you either. I'm not seeing that. I feel like this person is quite selfish. They're quite self-centered. And I feel like this person has entered your life as quickly and they've disappeared even quicker maybe okay guys that's all i have for you thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking commenting or sharing i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now